Slim the Tech Guy Gamer asked a very similar question, and um, I'm going to do this. So every single podcast I do, I ask the same question. All I right. Time for this one. So I started out with 17, at 17 with 300 bucks in my bank account. Slim the Gamer has a similar question with $500, but with three to $500, if you were 17 years old again, you're out of high school, I throw you, I throw you out in the woods here or there in Richmond. <laughs> yeah. You got three to five hundred dollars in your bank account. What would you do exactly, step by step, to become the next tri- Chris Jefferson? Yeah, man. So, so the question is, I don't, I don't make sure I got this right. So, you, you're taking me back. Um, you know, seventeen. Uh, ho- hopefully, I'm not as as, as ridiculous uh, if I got to do seventeen again because uh, I was a pretty pretty kid. You know, kid that was kind of all over the place. So, what would I do if I had three hundred? to $500. I love this question. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I would do with that money. All right. So the first thing that I would do, uh, see a lot of people are like, man, I'm going to drop for dollars, man, I'm going to do this, man, I'm going to do that. You can buy data so cheap right now. All right. I would go buy a list. Okay. So do I have 300 or do I have 500? Because that changes a little bit about what I would do. Let's just say 500. All right. All right. So here's what I want to do. You got some money. (laughs) And Zach, yeah, yeah, now I'm working. Minimum wage went up. Zach, I need you to help me out. Uh, so I've got a rec- I buy a list of a thousand records. It's twelve cents a record, one hundred and twenty bucks. All right. So I go buy that. Uh, now I've got to skip trace that. I'd skip trace that fifteen cents a record. All right, so that's one hundred and fifty dollars. So I'm, I've spent two hundred and seventy. All right, but I've got a thousand records, targeted stacked leads. Uh, I would buy a thousand records that cost me one hundred and twenty dollars. I would skip trace those records. It would cost me 150 bucks. Now I'm 270 in. All right. I would then go get a dollar. All right. So now we're at what 370, right? So if we're at 370, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I would go put more records on top of that. All right. Uh, I would go put more records on top of that. And or I'm not saying I would get a deal out of those a thousand records because a thousand records is a lot, but it's not. Uh, yeah. But uh, I would consistently spend that on a monthly basis because I would be okay with not getting the deal in that first month. Now I would hope to get a deal in the first month, but you know, guys, you got to understand that most deals come from the eighth to 12th touch. And so in knowing that I can't have the assumption, I'm just going to do a deal in 30 days. You know, Zach would tell you, I'm sure, you know, it's not very common that you just get on the phone and somebody says, yeah, no, nah, I'll, I'll, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll sell my property for 50,000. I'll, I'll sign a contract right now. It'd be really nice if that happened a lot, but it's just not the reality, right? Uh, so I would set up some follow-up systems and be intentional about making sure I followed up. Uh, but that's exactly how I would start, man. I would put uh, $500 on that, try to make it shake. And then if it didn't, for whatever reason, I would I would keep working and put another $500 on it as frequently as possible. And um, keep going. You know, wholesaling is a, is a business. It can knock you down. I, I call it the real estate roller coaster. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's it's... You know, it's tough, man, at the, at the end of the day. You know, we all come into this thing like red hot. You know, we find out about wholesaling and we're pumped up. We're excited. We're like, hey, like, yeah, like I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rich, you know, da, 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 da. Then you get in it. You're using a map instead of using a GPS. Things feel a little confusing. You feel like you can't make it work. You haven't done your first deal yet. And you kind of start to kind of zone out of it. You start to kind of listen to people telling you, hey, it's not going to work or not, you know. So my advice, man, sincerely, guys, is please keep going. I mean, wholesaling can open the door for you for every single thing that you want. If, if you follow me or followed me for some time and you've seen me build houses or, you know, uh, redevelop apartment complexes and do these different things, it was all started and built off of wholesaling. You know, and that's why I'm glad that I ran into what I ran into in 2017 because it wouldn't have brought me back to wholesaling. You know, I was doing all these big projects and all these different things. Wholesaling was a distant memory, honestly, at, at that point in time. But but certain things had to happen in my life to bring me back uh, to, to what made the most sense and what, you know, what really I was really good at. And so my advice, man, is just keep going. Business is going to be difficult. Things are going to hit you. People are going to talk shit about you. People are going to say, Oh, you know, Chris, this or Chris, this. like that's just life. You know, uh, those things don't bother me. I don't lose any sleep uh, over it at all. Um, you got to find the willpower to keep going. Whatever you're dealing with in your personal life right now, uh, you're having issues with your children, significant other, your workplace. 
It doesn't matter, man. I know it's easier said than done. Trust me. I get it. I've been through it. You got to keep pushing forward. You got to keep chasing your dreams and going after it and, uh, and and achieve that life that you deserve and that you want at the end of the day, man. That's what we're here for. We got one good shot, you know, like legit, like we've got one good shot at this. Uh, you know, it can be taken from us in a blink of an eye, you know, knock on wood, God willing, man, we all want to see 80, 90 years, you know, uh, or more. Right. And so, you know, my mindset is always when I find myself in vulnerable moments to this day, when I feel weak about the things that I'm trying to work on or focus on, the thought process is the same. It's like, yo, like CJ, man, 10 toes down, let's keep going. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to push through some pain, frustration, stress, but it is what it is, man. I mean, you know, I could go back to making $15 an hour working at T-Mobile uh, and not have any of those problems, any of those stress factors or whatever the case might be, but what good would that do? Thank you so much for watching this video today. Consider liking this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm so my videos can get shown to more people so I can help my mission on this channel to help you make over $100,000 in real estate wholesaling absolutely for free. If you're getting any value out of this whole channel or from the clip today, please consider subscribing to the channel. It means so much to me. Have a blessed day.